Earth is really special in some way. We don't exactly know the level of specialness. We don't right. really know which steps were the hardest or not because we just have a sample of one. But you're saying that there's three to 12 steps that we have to go through to get to where we are that are hard steps, hard to find by something that took uh, a long time and is unlikely. There's right. a lot of... There's a lot of ways to fail. There's a lot more ways to fail than to succeed. The first step would be sort of the very simplest form of life of any sort. <laughs> and then um, we don't know whether that first sort is the first sort that we see in the historical record or not. Uh, but then some other steps are, say, the development of photosynthesis, the development of sexual reproduction. There's the development of eukaryote cells, which are a certain kind of complicated cell that seems to have only appeared once. And then there's multicellularity, that is multiple cells coming together to large organisms like us. And in this statistical model of trying to fit all these steps into a finite window, the model actually predicts that these steps could be of varying difficulties, that is they could each take different amounts of time on average, but if you're lucky enough that they all appear in a very short time, then the durations between them will be roughly equal. And the time remaining left over in the rest of the window will also be the same length. So we at the moment have roughly a billion years left on Earth until simple life like us would no longer be possible. Life appeared roughly 400 million years after the very first time when life was possible at the very beginning. So those two numbers right there give you the rough estimate of six hard steps. Just to build up an intuition here. So we're trying to create a simple mathematical model of how life emerges and expands in the universe. And uh, there's a section in this paper, how many hard steps, question mark. Right. Uh, the two most plausibly diagnostic Earth durations seem to be the one remaining after now before Earth becomes uninhabitable for complex life. So you estimate how long Earth lasts, how many hard steps. There's windows for doing different hard steps, and you can sort of uh, like queuing theory, mathematically estimate of like uh, the uh, solution or the passing of the hard steps or the taking of the hard steps. Sort of like coldly mathematical look. If life, pre-expansionary life requires n number of steps, what is the probability of taking those steps on an earth that lasts a billion years or two billion years or five billion years or 10 billion years? And you say, solving for E using the observed durations of 1.1 and 0.4 then gives E values of 3.9 and 12.5, range 5.7 to 26, suggesting a middle estimate of at least six. That's where you said six right. hard steps. Right. Just to get to where we are. Right. We started at the bottom, now we're here, and that took six steps on average. The key point is, on average, these things on any one random planet would take, you know, trillions or trillions of trillions, you know, of years, just a really long time. And so we're really lucky that they all happened really fast in a short time before our window closed. And the chance of that happening in that short window goes as that time period to the power of the number of steps. And so that was where the power we talked about before came from. And so that means in the history of the universe, we should overall roughly expect advanced life to appear as a power law in time. Mm -hmm. So that very early on, there was very little chance of anything appearing. And then later on, as things appear, other things are appearing somewhat closer to them in time because they're all going as this power law. What is the power law? Can we, for people who are not sure. math inclined, can you <laughs> right. describe what a power law so, is? So say the function x is linear and x squared is quadratic. So it's the power of two. If we make x to the three, that's cubic or the power of three. And so x to the sixth is the power of six. And so we'd say uh, life appears in the universe on a planet like Earth in that proportion to the time that it's been, you know, uh, ready for life to appear. And that over the universe in general, it'll appear at roughly a power law like that. What is the exponent? What is n? Uh, is it the number of hard steps? Yes, the number of hard steps. So okay, that's so the key idea. it's like if you're gambling and you're doubling up every time, this is the probability you just keep winning. <laughs> uh, so it gets very unlikely very quickly. 
And so we are the result of this unlikely chain of successes. It's actually a lot like cancer. So the dominant model of cancer in an organism like each of us mm -hmm. is that we have all these cells and in order to become cancerous, a single cell has to go through a number of mutations. And these are very unlikely mutations, and so any one cell is very unlikely to have any have all these mutations happen by the time your lifespan's over. But we have enough cells in our body that the chance of any one cell producing cancer by the end of your life is actually pretty high, more like 40%. And so the chance of cancer appearing in your lifetime also goes as a power law, this power of the number of mutations that's required for any one cell in your body to become cancerous. This is the longer you live the likely right. you are to have cancer cells. And its, and its power is also roughly six. <laughs> that is, the chance of you getting cancer is the roughly the power of six of the time you've been since you were born. It is perhaps not lost on people that you're, <laughs> that you're comparing the yes. power laws of the uh, survival or the arrival of the human species to cancerous cells. It's the same mathematical model, but of course we might have a different value <laughs> assumption yeah. about the two outcomes. But of well, course, from the point of view of cancer, <laughs> it's more similar. Uh, from the point of view of cancer, it's a win-win. Uh, we both get to we'll, we'll both get to thrive, I suppose. 